Citywide units getting a couple calls for a person shot 112 speed. I got 25 east on Washington, two people shot, fire responding. Sadly, those teens didn't make it home today. We are learning they are 16-year-old Robert Boston and 17-year-old Montario Williams. Citywide units yeah, getting a couple calls for a person shot, two people shot, fire responding. As a group of students were leaving school for the weekend, they were met by a barrage of gunfire. Bullet holes, now a tragic reminder. The passing taxi heard seven shots. They are students of Innovations High School and were exiting the building near Madison and Wabash around 12.30 p.m. when police say a dark sedan and an SUV pulled up. And a group of individuals exited said vehicles, fired multiple times, striking two of the teenage students. A local jeweler tells me off camera the gunfire was so loud and continuous it almost sounded like a building was falling. Meanwhile, a local delivery worker shares what he saw in the minutes that followed. Seeing uh, fire department personnel on top of what appeared to be one young man there on the opposite side of the elevator shaft uh, performing CPR. It appeared to be a pretty chaotic scene. The offenders took off heading southbound on Wabash. It is supposed to be a male black in a black hoodie with white Michael Kors lettering on it. Dozens of evidence markers could be seen as police investigated. The teens were taken to Northwestern where they were pronounced dead. According to the school's website, students were in standardized testing this week and next. Mayor Brandon Johnson says his office is activating its victim services support teams to help fellow students as they grapple with unimaginable pain and trauma. It was a close call for a bystander. Her jacket was grazed by a bullet. Police tell us no one is in custody. If you have any information about this shooting, you're asked to contact detectives. Reporting in the loop, Casey Cronus, Fox 32. How the story goes, according to the internet. So him and his guys took the ops up top for some jewelry and firepower. Some watches or some shit and was putting it in their face. On social media, right? Well, this led to their ops following their every move. And rumor got it. After they got out of school, he went live. By him going live, that dropped his location. And he sent a cryptic message out to his ops or the people he got out on or whatever. And they pulled up at breakneck speed, making that landmark the location of his death. Sad and unfortunate. And I hate to say this, but you die the way you live. Man, this shit beyond me. Imagine getting sent to the upper room for some fake watches. Yeah. What did it say? Yeah, ain't coming like, look. Tell the ops, tell the ops, stop, stop wearing that, stop fake, stop wearing that fake ass. 50k, nigga. Tell the ops, stop wearing that fake ass. Bitch. Tell the ops, stop wearing that fake ass. Bitch. Tell the ops, stop wearing that fake ass. Tell the ops, stop wearing that fake ass. Tell the ops, stop wearing that fake ass. That fake ass AP they got down there, man. Y'all ain't fucking Fake me. ass AP. I just turned up cardiac AP. <laughs> <laughs> Nevertheless, all this opposition to take the social media and get the diss and posthumously after they seen it on the news. Wicked world we live in. Hey, y'all already know my name, Dress. Zah, they call me Zah. Smoke your dumb ass like some Zah. <laughs> A few moments later. Oh, oh my God! Oh, my God. Instagram post money wrote, a lot of niggas want to be with that gang shit until they get clapped. Makes one wonder, did he believe he can meet the same fate? But let me know what y'all think in the comments. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, tell a friend and tell a friend. And to the youth, the truth is, you'd rather be somebody for real, man, than just another bum with a gun. Some people hustle to be seen, some people hustle to never be seen again. Which one are you? Drill Time TV? I'm out.